Hi everyone, it's Rosie Scott here. Um, I promised a couple of weeks ago that I was going to do a little quick, easy makeup video and I'm going to do it today. Um, I see a lot of people doing video calls, house party calls, Zoom calls. So if anybody wants to just do a little bit of makeup to make themselves look and feel a little bit better, I'm going to show you some quick things today. It's literally going to take like five, ten minutes. Um, I'm going to use these brushes. So I'm only going to use five brushes. I've got a foundation brush a blusher brush, a shadow blending brush, an angled brush, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little angled brush, and an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use, I'm going to keep it very, very simple. What I did first of all was I just moisturised my skin, I've got literally nothing on at the minute, I just used a little simple hydrating gel cream. Um, I just popped a little bit of that on my face just to get some moisture in there. Um, what I like to do with my face is cover these dark circles because no matter how much sleep I get they're just there that's just part of my skin so I quickly I'm going to use um foundation and I'm going to use a concealer so these are the two things I'm going to use so this is a MAC um pro Longwear concealer in shade NC30 and this is a Keiko Milano full coverage two-in-one concealer foundation I'm not using my best products. This is just to give me a little bit of coverage. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and pop a little bit of that onto my finger, like that. Then what I do is I just kind of rub my fingers together. I'm using the mirror here to see properly what I'm doing. And I just tap a little bit of that under my eye. It's lovely. As it's right in there where I get dark circles and I also get a bit of a yellow tinge around my eyes. It's just the way I was born. So I pop a little bit of that there. Then I get my foundation brush and I'm literally just going to take that off my finger just to clean my fingers up. And pop a little bit on there. I'm going to use my big flat round foundation brush. This one is by Real Techniques. It is very old this brush but I love it. It's synthetic, clings really well, and I'm literally just popping that under my eye. I'm going to use my finger there just to dab all of that in and get the brush and just dab, dab, dab. So I do under the eyes first because then I know and that actually takes some of that right over the eye as well because that will keep your eyeshadow on. Now, I don't know if you can see properly in that light, but that has helped a lot. So this is now the foundation and concealer. This is shade CR20. Which is a little bit pale for me at the minute, but I just want to hide like the discoloration around my nose. I've got a little blemish there. And I just want to give the skin a nice coverage without being too heavy. So I just pop a little bit of that around my face like that. Down there I've got a little bit of, I've got a little blemish there, which I don't like. Let's get rid of that. And then I just pop a little bit up here, like that, down my nose, around here, across the chin. That should be more than enough. Go back to big brush and just buff that in. So I kind of use circular motions. I start around the nose. Always start in the middle of the face and work your way out. And then you can blend out to the edges. So I'm just doing this. Work around the nose, work around the mouth, spread out towards the cheeks and the ears. Go under there, make sure there's no lines, really buff that there. Um, I think camera ready makeup can just be done so quickly and it can just help you look a bit better in your video. Buff all of that out, 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 and then we've still got this bit here. So, I'm literally, just going to take that up into the hairline, across the forehead. And just use up everything on your brush. Also, go over your eyes again. Now, I like this little foundation by Keiko Milano. I think it retails at about £18, but when they do, they do amazing offers at Keiko Milano, 
online and on the high street. Obviously at the minute you'll need to look online. Um, and they do lots of offers, so I tend to buy things when they have a special offer on and I got that for about £13. Now it's a really nice foundation, it's nice and light, just gives a nice bit of coverage. Sometimes I'll pop a little bit of powder on top to set that, but I'm not going to today. What I'm going to do is then go for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to brush those up a little bit like so. With my finger. Now I don't have a great shape of eyebrow naturally. So what I do is I just define it a little bit more and try and give it a little bit more shape. I'm just going to go in with my angle brush and a little bit of eyeshadow. I sometimes use a little stencil. Um, I just find that gives me quite a nice shape. If I'm doing full on proper makeup, that's not quite right there. But you just pop that on and then you fill it in. But today, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you what I use when I'm being really fast. This is a little um, Beautiful Brows product, which is dark brown, which, will, which goes very well. I've got darker, darker hair. So I need something a little bit darker. And I just dab my brush into the powder, knock a bit off. And then I literally go over here, over my eyebrows. I just fill them in a little bit more than is naturally there. Go a little higher there, because the top should be kind of there. And I just slowly, slowly draw that on. And you can immediately see, that looks so much better. A little bit of focus there, there we go. One, two. Another product that I really like to use on my eyebrows, another eyeshadow, it's really old, it's my, my own personal product collection, is a Kiko Milano eyeshadow and it is smart. It's Kiko Milano smart, I don't even know what colour that is, it's a dark brown. But today I'm just using this beautiful brows one in dark brown. So let's do the other one and match it up. I just go in like that, nothing too technical. Just to fill in where there might be any gaps, create a slightly better shape. Some people have amazing brows naturally, but most of us don't. And I always say eyebrows are sisters, not twins. There. That looks better. Eyebrows done. Now, one of my, I'm going to do eyeshadow now. I'm going to keep it really simple. One of my, and another, I should just work for Kiko Milano. Uh, this is a little long lasting um, eyeshadow stick. And they do lots and lots of different colours. Today I'm using this one, which is number 39, which is a kind of a grey colour, but then I put brown on top. Now, with this, you can either draw it on your eye, but to keep this a really daytime look, nothing too fancy, I'm going to pop a little bit of this on my finger. I'm just going to run my finger over that. So I've got that product on the end of my finger. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab it onto my eye, like so. So I just dab, 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 start in the middle. And I only go up as far as where the eye socket sort of goes in. I've got hooded eyes, so I really try to create the illusion that I've got an eye socket there <laughs> and that is all I'm going to put on there and then I'm going to do the other eye so I need another little bit of product because I put most of that on my eye again just go in start there rub that in dab 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 you're not kind of running I'm kind of just dabbing it on and patting it where I need it to be. So I'm covering the whole of that top eye area. As I said, this is meant to be like a five minute, quick, 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 get some makeup on. That's that. Pop that away. Put the lid back on nice and tight um, because you really don't want um, that drying up or and it will last longer if you look after it. So now I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. This is a Real Techniques brush as well. It's really lovely. And I'm going to go in with a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad. This one is called the Sophisticate and you get four colours in here. And you get a really neutral colour, a brownie, light brown, a dark brown and a grey. 
this is a great one for a neutral kind of palette. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my big fluffy brush. I'm going to pop a load of that on there. So just to show you, I'm just going to cover the brush. It's so neutral. Just cover the brush. What I want to do with this is set this and blend that edge a little bit. So I'm literally just going to go like that over the crease. Windscreen wiper, I call this. Just put that over the top a little bit because it just softens that edge. Blend, blend, blend. Windscreen wiper. That's that bit done. Again, go back in. Just cover. I can't do that. Back to front. <laughs> and then do the same again with this eye. Windscreen wiper. There we go. Now I'm going to go back in with a different brush. This is what I call my eyeshadow brush. Now it is a nice little soft brush, but you can see it's smaller than that one. That one's really good for blending. This one's really good for putting eyeshadow on. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that brown, cover my brush in it, give it a little tap, and then I just pop that over the edge. Just pop it there. Just darken that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back in with this brush and just blend that a little bit. Eyes done. Bit of mascara. Mascara on, now you need some blusher. This is just a little MAC pinky blush. Go in with this and pop that on. So I've just used a little bit of that blusher. As I said, it's really old and I just get my little blusher brush, swish it around and just pop it on my cheeks just to get a little bit of color in there. If you feel it's too much, just go back to your foundation brush and just buff around the edges. It just gives it a nice natural kind of glow and it just gives a little bit of colour to the face because if you put lots of foundation on. Then lipstick of your choice. For quickness and speed, I'm literally going to show you a quick, quick, quick little way of doing this. I love a red lipstick. So I always use um, a lip liner and a red lipstick. Um, this is my favorite, it's a Rimmel. Look how small it is, I need a new one. And it's nice and sharp. I literally outline the lips, color them in, and then pop a little bit of color on top. So for speed, I'm just gonna go straight from the bullet and just hit a little bit of color in my lips and it makes them look a little bit fuller. Who doesn't want? Fuller lips. Uh, and that, that is, um, my sort of five to ten minute quick 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 get yourself camera ready ready for a zoom call ready for a house party it's nothing too hectic in there foundation eyebrows eyeshadow um, mascara cheeks and lips rosie scott hair and makeup hope you've enjoyed that thank you <laughs>